So up to this point, we've figured out how to build a custom tracking URL using iTracker, and then also to plug in a little insertion tag to dynamically capture a keyword. And then we've turned this custom tracking URL into a tracking template that Google AdWords can use. And by doing that, we've basically replaced the landing page URL here with a landing page URL tag. And then here's the tracking data. So we took this, this thing here and we pasted it into the tracking template. We hit test and we clicked on this little guy and here's the resulting URL that somebody would actually uh, click on if they found your ad on Google. So up to this point, everything's been pretty basic. Um, now we're gonna get into some more advanced topics like using these value track parameters to dynamically pull in data. Now we already did it with the keyword, but let's say we wanna know um, if it was on the search network or the display network, or maybe what your ad position was you know, on the page. Was it far down on the page or was it at the top or you know, where was it? So Google AdWords provides these value track parameters. So I'm just gonna do a quick Google search and it's probably the first one. So if you scroll down on this page, you can see this one using value track parameters and let me figure out where this stuff is. So value track parameter that inserts in your final URL. Okay, there we go. So this is a list of all the, click on that guy, that guy. Ah, here it is. It's under this one. I knew it was somewhere. So this is a list of all the value track parameters that you can use. <clears throat> and on some value track parameters, you can use them on certain URLs, like if you're doing the search network or maybe shopping campaigns only, there's certain um, URL uh, parameters you can use. And if you're using it on like the search network, then you know you can use you know all these guys. But basically, let's say that, you know, going back to this URL, I'm just gonna remove this top one. Let's say we wanted to know whether we were on a mobile device or a tablet or a computer. So they have this device parameter. So let's say the source was gonna be Google, the medium was AdWords, but um, for, you know, instead of the source being Google, maybe we wanna do Google underscore um, M for mobile, for mobile, or T. So the source would actually become Google M or Google T or Google C for computer, something like that, if you created your URL like that. So that's the device. If you want to know the network, you could use this little network tab. So for maybe the, the medium, instead of doing AdWords, you could do maybe AdWords underscore network. So this way you know whether it's G for Google search, S or whatever. Now another thing you can also do <clears throat> is do these little if statements. So if you wanted to say, you know, if search, then put in your value, if content, then put in your value. So you could do like, so instead of putting network here, you could do if search, then we're gonna put search. So it would be AdWords underscore search. That would be the result. So if content, we could put that right next to it and say if content, then we'll do content. So the result would be AdWords underscore search or AdWords underscore content instead. So you can kind of, there's some of these little if statements here that kind of make it handy as well. So let's take this URL using some of these advanced value track parameters and let's plug it into our tracking template here. Oops. Let me edit, let me edit this ad and I'm just gonna remove that, paste the new one in and hit test. Then I'm gonna click on the little icon here and here is the resulting URL. Now notice the attributes used, it figured out, oh, they're using a device attribute, a keyword, and you know the landing page URL. So here's the device uh, was C for computer, and then the search was yes, and the display turned out to be no. So let's see what the actual URL is. So it is Google underscore C for computer, and then AdWords underscore search because the search was yes and then the content was no. 
that's just, you know, when we tested it, that's what Google, you know, I guess that's how they ran it through. So we dynamically figured out that it came from the search network, and we dynamically figured out it came from a computer. <clears throat> um, so anyhow, there's a list of all these value track parameters, and uh, you can kind of have at it. There's a campaign ID, ad group ID, uh, stuff like that. I wish there was a campaign name and also a ad group name, but there's not. So what if you wanted to dynamically populate, let's say the UTM uh, campaign was promotional, but we wanted the campaign to say, let's say it was going to be our fall campaign. Um, <clears throat> inside my Google AdWords account, I have this fall campaign and then this Black Friday ad group. So how, how would I dynamically set the campaign to fall versus, you know, having to put this in for each one? Um, I can put a campaign ID because that was on the value track list, but what you're going to end up getting back is some number like that. Uh, that's not too user friendly. So what we so if, if Google had a campaign name parameter, that would be extremely helpful, but they don't. Microsoft Ad Center does have a campaign name, but Google AdWords doesn't. So what we have to do is we have to use custom parameters in your tracking template. And that's what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you how to use um, basically a custom campaign parameter where you can do something like that. And then also, instead of specifying tracking templates for every single ad, you can specify a tracking template at the ad group level or the campaign level or, you know, as a kind of a global type thing. So we're going to go through that in the, in the next video.